Yes, Phantom. Mr. Worldwide. No regrets. No regrets whatsoever. You might think that Pitbull is a strange man. And he is. But my god, do I love that man's vibes. Pure vibes. Hello, Phantom. Hello, Sack. Hello, KP. Hello, little man in box. That's me. I'm the little man in the box. How are we? I can't do the voice. You know, uh... Who is it who does that? Is it is it Rob Bryden who does that voice? Little man in the box. Hello, Steve. Did the wrong shirt on the wrong platform again. I, I, I know. <laughs> I literally put this shirt on and then logged into YouTube and just went, oh, yeah. What can you do? It's not the first time and it won't be the last time that I do that. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the Pepsi can. The sound of the Pepsi can opening. Go change? No, I've already started the stream. I don't care what shirt I wear. You know how many times I've worn like a PlayStation shirt while playing an Xbox exclusive? It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, how are we all? I hope we're all enjoying our weekends so far. It's quite early for you, Phantom, and you, Steve. YouTube has decided to call KP C Lay Play. <laughs> Where's the K gone? I've alerted the YouTube police because I'm wearing a Twitch shirt. Sorry. Good time to say, though, if you're not already following me on Twitch, you should do that. <laughs> Oh no! Oh dear. Happy Easter as well for those who celebrate. Um, if you celebrate in any other way other than just eating your body weight in chocolate, which I don't, so. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Anyway, hello everyone. We're going to play the Stella Blade demo. I don't know how long it is. I have not touched it yet. I actually don't really know anything about Stella Blade um, other than people seem to enjoy it. Is this the end or the start of the stream, Ron? The start. <laughs> Hello. How are we doing? This is this is the start of the stream. Although it does get confusing, I suppose, because I do use this screen for the end of the stream as well, but here we are. Hello. Do good, good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm actually very excited to play this. Um I know everyone's literally just been talking about the butts and the skin tight costumes. Uh, but I've heard that the gameplay is actually really solid. Uh, so far, I have had it compared to Lies of P, Near Automata, and also I just saw someone describe it to, or, um, compare it to Astral Chain, which is a Nintendo Switch game that I streamed, I think, two years ago. Um, which is exciting to me because Astral Chain was actually a really fantastic game like genuinely really really great it had some really really cool mechanics in it so i'm listening i'm listening um so this is made by a company called shift up i don't think i've ever played any of their games before um it is published by sony and it is a ps5 exclusive as well so this is not on pc or anything but i am intrigued i am intrigued and prepared. Lay play. <laughs> yeah, Steve's just posted the screenshot of YouTube chat, and yeah, it just it just doesn't have the rest of KP's name. Rude. It's it stole your K. You know, you did not miss any butts, but I'm sure we'll see many butts once we get into the game. But yeah, I've heard very good things about it. Um, the people who haven't been waffling on about the looks of it have actually said that the gameplay is really good. So. I don't know anything about uh, about the story of it either. Um, to be honest with you, I've kind of like deliberately avoided this because I just want to go in blind um, and just g genuinely give it like an honest look instead of just going, ah, it's got butts in it. <laughs> also, the amount of people who posted videos on various platforms, this one included, saying that there's some sort of like controversy with this game just because of how the characters look is a really weird take. I'm going to be honest with you, it's a really weird take. Um, I did see one video earlier that was just like, oh, it looks like 2B from Near Automata, who was just like completely sexualized. And it's just like, well, in some ways, yes, but also that really wasn't the point of the game. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I don't know. Am I the only one who looks at Near Automata and just like enjoys it as a solid game? Like, yeah, 2B's got her ass out sometimes, but... It's genuinely like a really good game. They did say they spent time making the asses good. Well, fair enough. 
Fair enough. Someone once asked the creator of Nero Tomsa why 2B's got a very sculpted arse. And uh, his, honest, uh, his honest response was just because I like girls. And you know what? More power to you, mate. It's your game. Make it how you want. But anyway, not our focus today. I genuinely want to see, like, how this game plays and if it's good. So, there you go. <laughs> Can I? It's, it's too late. It's too late. I was going to switch to the game screen so that comment wouldn't show up on, on here, but it's too late. <laughs> We're just not going to talk about that. <laughs> or really make any sort of... <laughs> it's too late. God damn it. Anyway, people complaining about sexualization of video games aside, um, I'm interested in playing this. So we'll see how it looks and plays. The, the people describing it as a mix between Lies of P and Nier Automata, I'm intrigued by what they mean by that. Like, are we talking just it moves like Nier, but it's difficult? Question mark? I don't know. Is this controller charged? Yes. Good shit, because I've been playing Need for Speed all day. Right. Where are my headphones? So I don't know how long this game is, or how long this demo is, rather. Uh, I've heard anywhere between, like, an hour to two hours, so... This may be, like, a shorter stream, but I was going to do... Ooh, nice music. Um, I was going to do this, this demo as a video on YouTube, but... Apparently, there's actually, like, a decent amount of content in it, and I thought it'd be weird to cut it down. I don't think I'd, like, feel like I'd be doing it justice if I cut it down to, like, half an hour, you know? So. Need for Speed in this economy. Yeah, I've been playing Need for Speed Unbound on the PS5. Because it's on uh, PS Plus now. And it's great. It's a good game, Unbound. I really enjoyed that one. Just, like, picking up trophies and zooming around in ridiculous cars. It's good times. It's good times. Whoa. Right. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't know how long this is going to be, but we'll see if we can do all of it, question mark? Maybe? Ignore the fact that I've got two versions of Spider-Man. It's, it's driving me mad. It's like, it's like the smallest issue. <laughs> it's like the smallest issue, but having two versions of Spider-Man is really bothering me. Mainly because I've been playing it off a disc, so every time you put the disc in, it just picks up the PS4 and PS5 versions. The full game is £69. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, right, let's see what it's like, question mark. It's very shiny. I'm just going to look up what other games Shift Up made. Because I'm not sure if I've ever played one of their games before. Uh, this game also was originally called Project Eve. And then they changed the name of it. Um, I, just, I can't find any results on the actual studio. Oh. <laughs> I, know, I know why there's so many butts in it. I hope it's like Sekiro in space. I hope it's not. I I know, guys, why there's so many butts in it. It's because it's the studio that made Project Nikkei, which is a mobile game that has a lot of butts in it. That makes sense. That makes... <laughs> it's a booby shooter. For lack of a better term, yeah. Now I, now I understand. Now I understand. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Nikkei is actually a very good game for a mobile game, but now it, now it makes sense. Right, English, English, yep, 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 yep. So I've got no idea anything about this game, to be honest with you. Um, I Like I said, I've been purposely avoiding it. It is nice that your save data carries over to the full game, though, when it comes out. I love when demos do that. Got Dick in EK last year. It's it's legitimately a good game. Uh, I also don't know where is going to be a good place for the webcam in this game. So I'm just going to be over here on the left and hopefully that will do. That's an interesting gameplay option. <laughs> you can adjust the length of the main character's ponytail. 
okay. <laughs> Horizontal in the bottom middle. Let's just lie down again. Uh, subtitles on. Yep, yep, yep. Make it long. It is long. Do we want subtitle background on? I think yes, semi-transparent, because we had problems with that in um, Alan Wake. You know in Alan Wake where the subtitles were like white and they were over a white background at one point and you just couldn't read them? Yeah, let's have a, a nice little background. Ha, ah, lovely. Uh, yeah, HUD, good, good. I don't think there's much more I need to change here. There you go. Invisa speak. Yeah, it was it was quite annoying actually. <laughs> I did eventually fix it in Alan Wake 2, but it was irritating. Uh, normal mode instead of story. We've got story mode, which I guess is just like easy, and then just normal is the options that we have. Transmitting final briefing. As of now, Airborne Squad 7 will exterminate the Alpha Nativas occupying District 3. Their objective is the capture and dispatchment of the Elder Nativas. This is very Asian action. One minute until threshold is reached. I can see the comparisons to Nier Automata now, actually. <laughs> Even just right at the beginning with this, I can see the comparisons. Look how cool the ships are, though. Very cool. I love sci-fi games, dude. I'll probably play every sci-fi game that comes out this year at this point, let's be honest. Shoot me! Jesus. Oh my god. Well, I mean... <laughs> why did you only put a shield on the front of the ship? What did you think was going to happen? That's, that's a design flaw right there. Bloody hell. <laughs> Explain gravity and physics to us. Uh, no, I'm okay. Oh! Okay, that's very cool, actually. This is a... Uh, very dramatic opening. Grief. Whee! Steve, I can't explain gravity and physics to you, but I can at least, you know, refer you back to when we ended up looking at a flat earth website for like 20 minutes on stream the other week. Oh, that's... How long do you think these like animators and developers spend uh, figuring out the design of stuff like this? They're like, I need it to be a drop pod, but I also need it to be a helicopter. Crumbs. Physics. Jiggle physics, I'm afraid, are the only physics that I have any sort of experience with. That's a lot of people dying. I'm guessing it's just going to be us and no one else at this rate. <laughs> no, Steve, that's not what I said. <laughs> that was a cool opening. Like a movie. 07531, pod landing complete. <laughs> the, the very calm, like, AI voice going, landing complete. I'm like, is it? <laughs> I feel like complete is the wrong word for tumbling at 300 miles an hour into Come the on. earth. Oh. Oh. Jiggle it. I'm stuck. Oh. Hello. Bloody hell. You're strong. <laughs> Are you all right? There you go. Sack has explained uh, this place is dangerous. gravity. No worries, Charlie. Hello, pal. Thank you for the lurk. Take hand. Whoa. Why was the like... Why are we in goo? That's such a gratuitous butt shot. <laughs> I was just like, maybe there's more to this game. But so far, butts. And transformation sequence. Goodness me. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Jesus. We're very shiny. This way to the like, room. very shiny. It's me. I'll take care of this side. Oh, murder? Oh, murder. Would you like help? No? Good chap. It, it's very uh, 
gruesome. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be just slicing creatures in half. My word! We have guard. Lovely. Can we have a butt counter where the screen just lingers unnecessarily on a butt? Uh, well, we're already at one. Oh, I've got a jump, but I, I don't think I've got a sprint yet. I mean, I've got to say, the scale of it to start off with is uh, very impressive. Come here. Careful your jump. Ha do we have a sprint? I don't think we do yet. You know how we set the ponytail to long? It's really long. It's like ankle length. Oh my god! Well, that's one dead. Watch Jesus! Ooh, we have a parry system. That's fun. Okay, cool. Well, it is like Sekiro in space. Because we need to, like, perfect parry. Woohoo! Uh, we don't have skills. Ooh. Okay, when you hit an enemy or parry, beta energy is charged. Oh, cool. Okay, so we have, like, special moves. Legs right up to the maker's name. Giving me Bayonetta vibes. I can see that. I can see that. My body frame. You need a haircut, is what you need. First aid. Thank you. I feel like... Okay, so we have potions to recharge health. I feel like this is the kind of game that Hide uh, Hideo Kojima would absolutely love. There's more of them. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is the kind of game that Kojima would love. Ooh, I really like the parry, though. That's very cool. Oh, oh, we have finishers as well. Jesus. Okay. Cool. Hello, Kenji. Kenji, uh, this is great so far. Oh my god, get absolutely shit on. Let's get out of here. It's it's me. I mean, I've got to say, having the super long ponytail, it does at least show off the physics of it. Extra long hair whips. Also, one thing that games really struggle with is collision on hair, so that works. No death run. Kenji, no death run in Stellar Blade. Right, I'm going to be honest with you, lads. Uh, th this is great so far. <laughs> this is really, really good so far. Oh my god. I'm moving. I'm moving. Jesus. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. I got absolutely annihilated there. Well, I'm going to need to heal. But Kenji, now you have a PS5, you can touch it. I wasn't expecting so much blood and gore, to be honest, but... Oh dear. Oh dear! Christ! How's it going, Kenji? Welcome in! You know when games just start and immediately go like 0 to 100? That's where we are. We're there already. Oh my god. Foomsy? Well, life signs. everyone is very dead apart from us. Left. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by the the costume design in this game because we're wearing a tie for some reason. Pull yourself together. I don't know if that's just like some kind of rank thing or whether we just like wearing a tie. Listen to me. I don't we know. haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand? Yeah, just, everyone's dead. <laughs> Chat, I need you to just, like, put your eyes back in for a minute. A tie in this economy? Yes. I, it, Kenji, I wish you could take it easy for once, mate. Less clothes equals better armor. I mean, you're not wrong. Have you seen the thief in Dragon's Dogma who's just wearing, like, green shorts? 
I actually don't know if there's any sort of like microtransactions, Phantom. Not that I know of. I think it is like a purely story based game. Oh my god, wow. I... Oh, hang on a minute. Okay, we do have a dodge. I was wondering. We do have a dodge backwards. Although I think it's much better to parry. Also, I need to heal. Ow. Whoa. We do have a dodge, but it's not, like, very far. Although we can sprint around like Sekiro as well. Although the parry is way better. Whoa. <laughs> Although maybe there are some attacks that you can't do. Ow. Owie. Have rid of that. Oh, the noise it makes when you parry, though. Big fan. Ooh, okay. Do we have iframes? That's my question. Ow. No, but we do get whacked in the face. Let me, let me get close enough to do one of these. Parry this, you filthy casual. Ooh. If you're going to put a parry in a game, it has to make that noise when you parry. The proper, like, clang. Fucking love that. Ooh. Ow. Uh-oh. Can I parry that? No. Okay, so there are some attacks you can't parry. I'm guessing that's when it does the, like, sort of yellow appearance above its head there. Is something you can't parry. God, what a block! Throw me! That's very cool. Definitely does need to be a satisfying sound. Butt shot. Wasn't an alpha, but it was a strong one. <laughs> you fought well. How a lightsaber's the best in Star Wars? We need a you clang. Not a vroom. She did, Phantom. I love that, like, double finisher. That was the cool. The damage to your body frame is serious. Oh. We have to find the supply. Just physics. <laughs> Just physics. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Eve! Oh dear. I feel like our character is very right? clumsy. She doesn't seem to be focused on what's happening at all. It's a good job Taki's here. Although... I feel like she might not be here for much longer. She seems to be the competent one. My character seems like a bit of a ditz so far. Ooh, that's a cool design. My body frame! Filthy casual. Filthy casual. Here, friend. It's me. I'm sensing a sacrifice. Oh no, it doesn't want it definitely doesn't want you. Oh god, not the arm! Oh Jesus! Ooh. Well, I was right. Ooh, that's gruesome. Get out of here. Ducky! Hell. Whoa, what an intro, Christ. That was uh that was a really cool intro. Demo over. We're done. Alright, go home. Shut down the stream, we're all done. That was Stella. Got him. No. She gone. Did we get out of that then? Because from what you said about save data carrying over to the main game, I feel like this is just the start of the game. Unless it just means it carries over things like stats and stuff, I don't know. But it, it did say that it carries save data over, so... 
I'm assuming this is literally just how the game starts. It's quiet. Still. A man. I'm sure to stay cautious. Men exist in this universe, everybody. It's where the Alpha AT bites. So has there been a time skip, or is this? I don't know. I'm assuming that Eve just managed to like get out of there. All right, Adam, you may not be tacky, but can you throw me with your sword? No, get ready. I'll be supporting with the drop. One eternity later. Got like 25 seconds without a butt shot. No. Oh, that was the bad ending. We just we just dead. Those are hilariously impractical shoes. <laughs> so this must be eight or seven. How are you meant to walk yes. in those? This was the final battlefield of civilization. Got the worst ending also straight away. A truly colossal oh, look at all those statues. The aesthetics of this game are very cool. Something is falling from the sky. A strange sensation. This must be Earth's rain. It's true. We can admire the scenery later. We have a job. Oh, to I got a little robot friend. Oh, I see how it is. So Adam just sits in the ship the and terrain data has changed. <laughs> and we just get the little robot. Right, so we've done the beginning. Uh, okay, here we go, though. This is like a bit of lore that wasn't massively explained. So Earth has been taken over by a species known as Natibas. All of humankind evacuated to the colonies in space, leaving Earth a desolate wasteland. To take back what was there, the humans decide to wage war against the Natibas. However, the onslaught made it practically impossible to even land on the surface. One by one, airborne squad members have fallen. But Eve manages to crash land with the help of her commander Taki. Eve starts pushing forward. Okay. So Taki is dead. Wait, Adam and Eve? Did that just click? I didn't even feel like I need to mention it, to be honest. Basically, Nero Thomaser. Very similar. I can see why people were comparing the two. Uh, here we have our characters. Taki was, well, was the commanding officer. Uh, and then Adam is a scavenger from Zion. I'm in this game, but they spelt my name wrong. <laughs> he saved... Uh, okay, so Adam saved us then. Interesting. So Adam saved us from that situation and has taken us to Ados 7, which is where we are now. Um, wait a minute. There was more... Oh, so these are all of the enemies. Okay. Interesting that the alpha one that killed Taki isn't even in, like, the list of enemies. Woo. Look at Adam covered in practical armor. I know. Well, how, how come he gets actual armor? It me. Falling debris. Be careful, Lee. Although, I don't know if Ados 7 is a place on Earth or its own planet. Judging by the sign, though, I'm, I'm assuming it's, like, a place on Earth. Get absolutely wrecked. Oh, they dropped loot as well. Nice. Clearly the most futuristic and useful armor, obviously. Oh shit. What have you got on you? Oh, the passcode. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. There's an encrypted code in the memory stick. It's kind of cool that when you um, like loot permit. people, there's like a proper animation for that. The stuff doesn't just appear in your pockets. Adam got all the armor and ammo. <laughs> and then he chickens out and goes out in a robot. I know. It's rude. It's rude is what it is. Try entering the cup. Beep boop beep. Oh shit. Uh, wait, we literally picked it up. Uh okay. This thing. This thing. Uh this one. This one. That one. That one. Nice. It worked. <laughs> 
Job jobbed. Collapsing. Because of the city's unstable terrain. We'll get used to it soon. Yeah, this does really look like near Osometer, the like areas that you fight in in that game. Come here, nerd! Let me scrap you. Oh. So the stuff. Also the music as well. The the music is is very much giving like near vibes. Ow! You bastard! Get gone. There's a legion camp in a place like this. How far away from items can we pick them up? Not very. Okay. Phantom needs armor like this. He does. What have we got here? Oh, camps. Okay. Um, save progress. Get some rest. We need to obtain Vit coins, apparently. Sit down to recover HP. Refill the rechargeable tumbler. So that's our health potions thing. Stored items will be retrieved. Okay, cool. So, like, if you pick up loads of stuff, it just goes into a box and then you can pick it up from here. Oh, some enemies will be revived when resting. Okay, so we've gone, like, a little bit salty with it. Use the vending machine. Learn or train skills. Okie dokie. Ding. Oh, nice little coin flick animation. Armor that lifts and separates. God. Right, skills. What have we got? Oh, wow. A lot. Perfect dodge. Wait, can it only be used if reflection is successful? Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I think I was looking at something else. Never mind. Perfect dodge! Cool, okay. So, upon a successful perfect dodge, press triangle to perform an additional attack. Lovely. Righto. What's in the shop? Health. Health, shot grenades, pulse grenades. Resets the skill tree. Oh. Okay. So we can just like go back on our skills and listen to music. I'm going to have a sit down. <laughs> Backflips in this economy. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Bright memory. You remember when I streamed Bright Memory? What a game that is. That's the one where we had, like, the grappling hook where we were hanging on the side of a plane. Oh, here we go. Here's the explanation. He just came in and grabbed us on his cool motorbike thing. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I'm just thinking of my friend that got her arm cut off and then you just left her for dead. From here on. To stay alert, Eve. So I guess seeing as we're hanging out with Adam, who is just a scavenger, I guess we don't really have any contact with the actual people that we came here with. Which is kind of weird. But there you go. Whoop. Hoochia. Where's the other one? Blah. I was going to do one of the skills on it, and I feel like that might be an excessive. This guy gets it. You! <laughs> she was also stabbed by the chest, but you never know. I've seen people come back from that. Oh. Can you hit me? Whoa. Okay. I was going to say, can you hit me again so I can practice this dodge? Just to see the timing on it. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. All right, you know what, mate? Just get out of here. Interesting. Okay, so it seems like the, the perfect dodge window is very small. Is Eva robot? I'm assuming so. I'm assuming this is like a near Thomas situation where the humans are all like hanging out safe somewhere in space and they're just sending androids to fight. Although I don't know about Adam. I don't know if Adam's a human. Well, I suppose he might be. Ooh. Okay, perfect dodge is gonna get some, take some getting used to. 
seems to have a really narrow window. Yeah. <laughs> Do a perfect dodge. Gets hit. Oh. If you're not even going to try and hit me, I'll just cut you to pieces instead. Ooh. Gross. What do we have here? Is this car meant to be leaking? Probably not. Car engine runs oh, off Marco. Maybe maybe this is just a wild off. Final Fantasy sequel. Do you think there's anything useful? Hello. It's all this guff. Potions. Well, it's leaking. So compatibility shouldn't be an issue. Make sure to take everything. Okay, so we have uh yeah, instant health, continuous health, and more instant health. Yep. Hey, yep. Be careful. Whoa. You see the rapids below. Ooh. If you fall, huh. it's over. Oh, that's cool. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. <laughs> I love when games add in like little parkour things like that. That's fun. Ooh. Ooh. Good grief. Get wrecked, nerd. Right, enemies maintain their stance with bow. It is Sekiro. <laughs> parkour. Uh, knock enemies off balance by performing perfect parries. Enemies that are completely off balance become groggy. Ow. <laughs> Come back me, bro. Oh, you just... You, you missed. You wanna try that again, buddy? You wanna try it again? <laughs> Ew. Ow. Ow. Ow! Dude, damn, dude! <laughs> Staggered me so much I didn't even have a chance to, like, get it, another block in. Good lord. Okay, some enemies harder than other. <laughs> some enemies definitely harder than others. They can sort of, like, stagger you a bit, so you end up just getting stuck, basically. And we can scan. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, why didn't you offer me that earlier? <laughs> why didn't you tell me we could scan earlier? Oh, shit. Ew. The fucking starfish from uh, Suicide Squad. Damn it. Right, can you just have a bit of that? <laughs> have a bit of that. Are you gonna? What's the plan here, dude? Okay, that was the plan. Ow. Son of a bitch! Goodness me. Okay, it seems very like. A, a lot slower paced than similar games. Like, I feel like some enemies like that, you have to really kind of be patient with it and just take a minute to fight them. Whereas you can't... It doesn't seem like you can really sort of just burn through enemies really quickly. We have gear now, though. So that's nice. Lovely. Space squid! Get the fuck out. Uh, whoops. Gear... Combo attack enhancement. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> Exterior. So there you go. We are just wearing a planet diving suit, apparently. Oh my god, look how many costumes there are. Good lord. This does require strategy. It does. Listen, butts aside, this is really good so far. <laughs> like, the actual gameplay is really, really solid. I'm enjoying the music as well. Hello, mate. Wait, did it say there was different. a human in there? After the colony extinction, most places were nothing but dust. It did say there's a human in there. It's like someone being held hostage back there. Interesting. I wonder if we can. Ah. Okay, so we can like climb up. Aha! 
Parkour! Here we go. Loot! <laughs> I really love how the animation for opening loot boxes is just kicking them. Ow! Okay, there is fall damage. That surprises me, actually. So how do I get to where this human is? I'm guessing I have to go all the way around. I also need to heal. You're a fusion cell. Okay, Let's open the car's hut. Uh, which one? This one? <laughs> this? He said to open the car's hood, right? But this one? There isn't an actually like an option to do that. Where are we going, Chief? Goodness me. We'll f figure that out later. He's very picky about like <laughs> where you need to stand. That's just that's just locked. Nope. Uh oh. Oh my god. Star knife. It's fantastic so far, Matt. How are you? Welcome in. Yeah, oh, gross. Have we got like an area attack? Because wait, didn't it say we could have grenades at some point? This looks problematic. Oh, here we go. Ow, you prick! Jesus. Oh, here we go. Come over here, nerds. Have a bit of that. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of an area attack. We just like... Yep. I don't think that really did much damage, but... Oh my god! Okay, ow. It's me. Kind of hard to block when there's a lot of them. I do wish the little one would bugger off. Get out of here. I'm trying to fight the big one. Ow. I said get out of here. Jesus. We're taking a lot of hits. Goodness me. Ow. Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. Boop. I forgot to change the live chat. Ow. Fucking hell, dude. Right, hang on a minute. I need to... Oh, God, hang on. This is actually really difficult to do in combat. Okay. Dodge that. Right, so yeah, if they glow yellow, we need to dodge. Jesus. I feel like the... The parry wind... Ow. <laughs> the parry and the dodge window are very different. The parry one seems quite generous. The dodge one is not at all. The dodge window is just like, you do it perfectly or you die. That is the way it is. Oh, that's weird, Matt. Very weird. But you're here. Enjoying the Twitch mobile app, which is not great. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. Right, let's, let's try this again, shall we? So hit these. And hopefully that took out a couple of them. Although I don't think it did. Have it. And then I'll see if we can just... Ow, fucking hell. Get over to the other barrels. Which have now flown away from the enemies. Fantastic. Alright, that got one of them. Ow. It's just like bugs. Get off me, man. Right, is that it? The YouTube... Uh, did I say Twitch mobile app? Uh, the YouTube mobile app, sorry. <laughs> brain. Brain fart. Right, let's try this again. You can parry that. Ow. But then it attacks really quickly afterwards, so figure that one out. Ow, Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Oh, I think so far I much prefer parrying to dodging. Like, I, I feel like it's a lot more generous with the parries. Relax, holy shit. Oh my god, I cut him in half. Well, he, he deserved that. God. <laughs> Some of those enemies are rough. YouTube comments are one giant pile of mental illness. I mean... Sir, please. You're not wrong. Right, we need to go that way, which means I'm obviously going to ignore it and go this way instead. Chop, chop, chop. Interesting. So this, this this is an enemy. So when you scan it, like shows you which of the sort of statues are actually still alive. That's very useful. So is this person alive or? Oh. What did we just do? We just like absorbed someone. Oh, so finding like human bodies improves the beta energy? Interesting. Okay. I think I did take their soul. <laughs> they weren't using it anymore. Come on now. Interesting. So that's what improves the beta energy, which is what we use for, like, special attacks and stuff. Alrighty then. I mean, I, I'm not surprised. Like, I didn't think we were going to find anyone alive. Do I respect you more or less for the inspecting assets title? <laughs> Listen. We all know why some people are interested in this game. We're not going to shy away from it. We're not going to talk about it that much, because it's just, like, I feel like it's just not respecting what is actually so far a very good game, but <laughs> we can't deny it's there. Decades have passed since the appearance of Natibas and the evacuation of humankind to the colony. They say the airborne squad is descending to rescue the remaining humankind, but there is no sign. We can't do this anymore. Ahem. Passcode. Thank you. The memory stick still has the security code registered. It was record of a message yep. Yep. You have to cross here. Do you see the ladder behind me? I see it. I also see lots of water. Possibly both. Thank you, Matt. Oh my god, she's very close to the edge. Uh, okay. Scan it. I guess I'll just go this way, question mark. What? I can't reach the ladder. The water level is too low. Try using the plan. <laughs> it is really fun so far, Steve. It is. Uh what, what what's going on here? Or is this just showing me a climbable? Oh, that's probably where I was meant to climb down instead of just jumping, but that's okay. And where's the thing that he was talking about? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 get get off the ladder. I mean, do I need to mess with the water level or can I just... Oh! <laughs> the answer is no. Okay. Ooh. Fish! Do we have infinite breath? I'm assuming so, because we're not actually human. <laughs> Hello, Dan. Welcome in. How are you? Really want to play something, but what? If you got a PS5, play the Stellar Blade demo. <laughs> oh, loot. 
lovely. It does kind of bother me that loot from a loot box doesn't just go straight into your inventory. Like, you have to uh, actually pick it up first, which is a bit weird, but there you go. Oh, I can just stand on debris. Lovely. Call of the Wild, the Angler. What a we what an hour left field suggestion. Or is it just because you saw fish? Right, he said we needed uh, to fiddle with the water level, didn't he? Where are we going? Where are we going? Have you, have you and Savage been playing fishing games? Oh, here we go. Hang on. I haven't been in here. It's very dark. <laughs> well, I feel like you could have grabbed that. Just wondering what's in the water, and that's where the brain went. Just straight to fishing. You know you can play Sega bass fishing in uh, Yakuza? Which is just hilarious to me. It's just like, well, what do you want to do today, Kiryu? And it's just like, uh, why don't we play Sega bass fishing? Here we go. Who, who even needs the water? When we can just yump. I should have just taken on board everything Kenji told me. Yump. I thought maybe we needed to raise the water level, but no, we can just yump. Lucas, look up at the sky. There's something falling. I wonder what that is. I didn't hear the orbital explode. What kind of future are we living in that we need orbital explosion warnings? Oh, my days. Ha! Huh. Grab it. Nice. Okay. Uh, and now we swing. Okay. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Why didn't you grab it? All right. Well, that's... That's unfortunate. <laughs> now I've got to climb all the way up there again. Oh, man. Why didn't she grab? Come on, Eve, get it together. You must do the grab. Right, can we... Oh, okay. Well, you know what? That's not what I was trying to grab onto, but that does... That works. Hey! Yep. Maybe if I go a little bit more around the corner. Wait, we can... We can rotate! Oh my god, we're so strong. Look at that core strength. I mean, we're not human, so... Of course we're strong, but, you know. Can I just point out that the little robot that's with you also swings when you're, like, swinging on a rope, like, on a bar like this? There you go. Tried Diablo 4. It's on Game Pass. Is it supposed to be that boring? I'm gonna be honest with you. I... First of all, let me state that I was given a key to Diablo 4. Um, which, thank you, Blizzard, but it... Yeah. It's, it wasn't the best game that came out last year. Have we got enough for a new skill? No. Oh, yes, we got one. Recharge more beta energy. Execute enemies from behind. Okay, what else we got? Beta skills. Shield breaker. That could be useful. I'll have a bit of that, and I'm going to have a sit down on my lovely little deck chair. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is, what it was about Diablo 4. I just couldn't really get into it that much. Unapologetically, I quite like Overwatch 2. I also like Overwatch 2, although I'm not a massive fan of the new character so far. She seems really difficult to play against. We, we played a little bit last night to see what the new character's like, and she is brutal. Like, she can do so Let's much melee damage. Oh, cool. This is the door we were at earlier. And just shortcut. Alright, that's very Souls-like. 
just held A and destroyed things. Yeah, it depends on the character you choose, but the beginning of Diablo 4 can be extremely easy. Hey, it's a good job I got that shield breaker thing, because look at the... F whatever the fuck this is. Hello. Oh! That does do damage. Oh, I missed it. Well, that's unfortunate. Ow. Oh! Okay, you didn't teach me about purple moves or blue ones. Goodness me. Okay, so blue means, hey, you should really dodge this. God damn. If you see a yellow and then blue attack, it means get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oof. This thing hits hard. Goodness me! Barnacles! Playing Hel Helldivers 2 and Hitman 3. Dude, Hitman's so good. Oh, speaking of, that's a good little segu. Um, the Sean Bean contract that I did on Monday on stream is going up on YouTube tonight in like a uh, couple of hours. So if you missed the uh, Ouroboros contract that we did, that's up on YouTube tonight. Hello, enemy. Oh, maybe I should have got that. Uh... Ow! You fucking jerk. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that barrel to explode. Wow, I didn't actually really do much. Ah, so I guess blue is like a grab attack. Okay. Now we know that. So if it's blue, they're going to grab you and you can't block it. So back off. Cool. Whoa! Jeez. How are we doing on healing stuff? <laughs> I guess we get three every time we rest, but we'll go through them. <laughs> Dude, that... Um... Oh, we picked this up, didn't we? That contract, the one with Sean Bean, is, uh, is very fun. Exploration gives you rewards. Lovely. Right. Uh, what else we got? Network has been destroyed. We have nowhere to fall back to. Is this Nativa's doing? Is the colony safe? What happened to Mother Spears? Mother Sphere? Lost track of time since even that won't automatically correct itself. I must keep track of the calendar by force editing my memory stick. Or you could just like have a calendar. I don't. I don't know if you've ever considered that. Hello, Gemma. It is Saturday. It is Saturday. The reason I'm streaming on YouTube today is because I wanted this video, I wanted this game demo to be a video on YouTube, but I thought that a half an hour video of it would not have done it justice, uh, and I've been proven correctly by that because I've been playing for like 50 minutes, <laughs> and I feel like we haven't done that much yet, so I'm really glad that I'm streaming this rather than making a video of it. Uh, as a question, going through story mode on Hitman, should I do more replaying the missions to level up and get new gear or keep moving forward? Uh, I think it's entirely up to you, Dan. I would probably, like, try and unlock some more stuff. But the way that Hitman is designed is you don't actually need, like, all of the best gear to still be successful. Um, so I think it really, like, replaying stuff and unlocking more stuff just, uh, just gives you a lot more options in what you want to do. But there's nothing, like, there's no sort of, like, barrier to just moving forward without unlocking stuff, which is nice. Right, well that's broken. So uh What's the what's the plan here? Can you just smash it? Right, we need something to open this. Ah, boo bye. <laughs> what was this what was this originally meant to say? I'm glad too, Gemma. I hope you're doing alright today, buddy. Fire extinguishers, yep. Yeah. I feel like I shouldn't admit that I like the character's shiny butt, but I do. We all do. It's okay. Boo-bye. Right, we need to, uh... 
find some way of getting through this door. What's this? I feel like this is important. But I can't interact with it. But it seems odd to me that it's like glowing red. Oh, we can have a hint. Oh, open. Oh, but you didn't give me an option to open the hood of the car earlier. Hmm, okay. Not going to be surprised if there's rule 34 by the end of the week. I, I would say it's probably already there, to be honest with you, Ron. Boobs by E, a plastic surgeon named Eric. You keep telling me to open the hood of the car, but like... Oh, right. oh just just hit it. Okay. I was, I was like, I would, would have assumed there would be like a, a prompt for it, but no, you just hit it. It's the previous generation of the Infinity Cell. Yes. The now let's Infinity go back to the Cell, you drive. say? Feeling better today. I was out walking for a few hours with a friend. Had a nice lunch. Got a new puppy toy. I'm really excited for you to get a puppy, Gemma. Open. Yeah, hit it. <laughs> Wait, can we... Hang on a minute. Can we change the length of the ponytail mid-game? We can! Let's let's get a new haircut. There we go. We we had a little we had a little haircut during the game. There you go. Fusion cell in a 1970s car. I mean, have you seen Fallout? Was there a male character option? There is not, Ron. No, there is no character option. You just play as Eve. Uh Eve is protected by a shield. God I wish. Uh, damage reduction while the shield is active. Damage reduction increases as the shield's protection level increases. Protection level decreases after the shield takes a certain amount of damage. Okay. Male character is just one giant cob piece with legs. It is really cool so far, Gemma. I'm really enjoying it, actually. I feel like people are just commenting on the graphics of it. And to be honest, the gameplay is actually really solid. Also, the muse, the constant like EDM music is just vibes. Ow! Okay, keep forgetting that you attack twice. Ow! Stop smacking me! Jesus! It's very. Um. If you are, like, mid-attack, you can't, like... Whoa, there's the perfect dodge, though. You can't, like, cancel your attack. So if you're, like, mid-sword swing when an enemy attacks you, you can't, like, back out into a, a block. So you kind of have to really wait for an opening. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? Is there anything you don't like at the moment? I would say... Uh, I feel like the the dodge... The window for the dodging is very, very tiny. I would say I would make that a little bit longer because it's very hard to get a dodge in properly. I would say that's my only complaint so far is the parry window is like quite... Um, generous. But the dodge window is horrifying. Adam, what is... This. Like, you've got to really, Actually, really nail it. And with so many, like, yeah. different variations of enemies so far, How do you synchronize the location it's quite difficult to figure out when to dodge. Can be a bit hard to see what's going on. The telegraphing isn't the best. I would agree with that. Yeah, definitely. I, I would say there's there's a lot of other games. The <laughs> Parry window! I would say a lot of other games make it a lot easier to tell when an enemy is going to attack. I might uh, actually just bump up the brightness a little bit also we have different graphics modes prior oh so we can prioritize frame rate instead um motion blur Ugh. let's just turn that off i'm gonna turn camera shake down a little bit it's not been too bad so far but um it doesn't seem like we can oh hang on a minute oh here we go oh yeah i mean it's it's quite dark isn't it let's just bump that up a little bit oh god okay that might have overdone it a little bit, actually. <laughs> maybe we'll just uh, keep that around 40, maybe. Oops. 
That's a bit better. I can see a bit better now. That's that's good. Don't forget to like the stream. Look at me being an engaged viewer for once. You are. It is. Yeah, it's like a claw, a claw shield, KP. I would like some more unnecessary butt shots. <laughs> oh, dear. Hello, Katie. Welcome in, pal. How are you? We are enjoying the physics. For once, I asked a genuine question and all you gave me was butt, Phantom. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Phantom. Like the stream. Joke aside, are we liking the game? I'm really enjoying it, Katie. Um, I actually really, really like the gameplay of it so far. It does feel like... Kind... <laughs> Dan. It does feel kind of like... Um... I can see the similarities to the Lies of P. I can see that. Well done, Gemma. You've nailed it, Gemma. Thank you for that, because I always forget to mention that. <laughs> Idle is a slow butt clap. God, I hope not. Oh, can play the piano, looks though. Looks like this used to be a library. Are these boxes displayed on the wall storage devices? Very out of tune. Sort of. They can only store up to one megabyte of data. One megabyte? What a waste What's the... of resources. What a waste of resources. Um... It's kind of odd that, like, humans created Eve to try and save Earth, but she doesn't really seem to know anything about Earth. Which I find kind of odd. Like, you would think if humans were to create a sentient android, you would think that they would teach it about the planet that we're from. But she doesn't seem to really know ow, anything. <laughs> The outfits are very cool. I wonder if we can ever have like a bodysuit like uh, Taki had at the beginning. That was cool. Ow. Oh, the backflip though. Big fan. Sounds like the half ass stuff that humans would pull off true. <laughs> but like, should we give it knowledge of Earth? Nah. The monster designs are really cool so far. The crack is quite deep. It's going to be difficult to pass. The crack. We'll have to go across. Why do we have a tie on? Tower. <laughs> I do wonder why we're wearing a tie. Or maybe maybe we just like to be formal. Maybe this is our formal uh, skin type bodysuit. I don't know. Should we give it knowledge of Earth when we could spend all of our time designing its butt? Yeah, that's true. So because of the scan, we know that these ones are fake. Or not fake, but dead. And then this one is... Can we, like, sneak up behind it, maybe? And then... Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, so we can, like, stealth on it a little bit. That's cool. Ow! There was one behind me. Was there? Nope. Never mind. I'm just being dumb. There wasn't one behind me. Ha <laughs> ha! Frames dropped hard on that attack on the stream. Oh, that's annoying. Looked fine on uh, my actual monitor. Why is the pixie wings? Can we fly? God, I, I I hope we can fly at some point in the game. That would be cool. Right, that's locked. Got another dead human. It's interesting that the humans aren't, like, decomposed. Like, we don't know how long they've been dead. Exactly, that's true, Dan. Yeah, and some games do that, weirdly. I've had people mention that um, on other games, that the frames dropped on stream, but on the game it's actually fine. It's weird. A deep crack. A deep crack, Gemma. I uh, wonder if the locked doors are side areas and the demo cut off. Uh, some of them might be, but a lot of them we've managed to, like, eventually open, so... Supply camp? In a place like this? Supply camp? What's that? What do you mean, what's that? It's a depot. Is it not obvious? <laughs> by the airborne squad who came here before. <laughs> oh, it has Looks vending like machines? Cool! For a long time. How come they set up a camp in a corner like this? Well, the supply camp... And a phone with F keys. 
as this parking shortcuts, lot. Shortcuts, eh? I mean, we did open a shortcut earlier on, so it definitely does have it Souls-like assets. This place is very um, dangerous. Because <clears throat> there was that bit earlier where we rested at camp and it respawned the enemies as well. Then I guess this place could be useful for Big us. TV! Enjoy your food, Gemma. This game does take a lot of mechanics from other games, which I'm totally fine with because it works. Uh, supply camps feature more devices than regular camps. Use the repair console to enhance weapons. Increase the rechargeable tumble account. Upgrade your exospine and combat capabilities. Cool. Okay. I love how we just flick a little coin into the uh, machine to turn it all on. Oh, look, it gave us a little umbrella. That's nice. Right, we have two skill points to spend. Blink. Can only be used when an enemy is attempting a fatal attack. Dodge and teleport behind the enemy. Hello. I'm listening. Yeah, we'll learn that. And now we can train our skills. Oh, okay, so I guess this is like a test period. Select skill to train it. You can try out skills you haven't learned yet. That's fun. Oh, I really like that. I really like when games give you a skill tree, but like they let you test the skills before you unlock them so you know like which one you want. Also, it says there's like an item we can buy that lets you reset your skill tree as well. Uh, will the progress carry over to the main game? Yes, it does, Casey. So this demo seems to be just like the first couple of hours of the game. Um, and then you can transfer your save data over to the, the full game when it comes out. It is very cool. I really like the, these like testing skill arenas. When an enemy glows blue... Ah, so that's how we counter the blue like grab attacks. Okay. Interesting. Uh, press up and circle when the sword glows. Eh, okay. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, that's very cool. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Come at me, bro. Come oh, on, buddy. How am I meant to train if you don't hit me? Hit me! Sir, please. Oh, that was a little bit too early, but that's okay. Because <laughs> we got off another attack instead. I like how it leaves the dead bodies there. Just like as a warning. Sir. I'm going to need you to hit me. <laughs> hey, you Cool, okay. That's a very cool uh, skill. It's kind of nice that the game just says, Hey, you should unlock this skill. Final Fantasy does it as well. Oh, that's cool. That's very good. Nice. Oh, that's... Oh, so we can, like, set the enemies to do... Any kind of attack we want. So you can test, like, anything. Also give us infinite energy so we can do, like, any skill that we want. Fun. Okay, cool. I really like that. The, like, training feature. That's cool. Teleport. Yes, Kenji. Teleport. Awesome. Okay, well, we have one more skill point. So I wonder if we want to... Counter. Ooh. Uh, whoops. What else have we got? Strengthens the last blow of combo attacks. Deals higher damage, stuns the enemy, and recharges energy. Ooh. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, that was that was the next skill along. We need to unlock the other one first. Ambush. Really good user experience design. It is, actually. Like, I, these menus are really easy to navigate as well. And I feel like it's explaining stuff well enough as well. I think we'll unlock this so we have, like, all of the sort of beta ultimate attacks ready. Lovely. What else have we got? Attack power enhancement. Oh, we can do that. So we have uh, a weapon core so we can improve our attack power. Lovely.
lovely. 490. Also, it says Eve up here, which leads me to believe that maybe we could, like, have other characters later. I don't know. It seems odd that they would put her name up there if you couldn't. Also, we can fast travel now as well. Nice. Right, well, uh, I'm going to have a sit down. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a sit down. Adam? Yeah. About yesterday. Thank you for saving that me. That was yesterday? I thought there was like a time skip or something, but... No, all that stuff with Taki at the beginning was That's yesterday. Really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Oh. It's all right. That now means we can help. Yesterday. <laughs> so I'm guessing that Adam is just like a human. Um, well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll have done more than enough. Listen, don't worry. I promise, I'll make sure to repay you. I don't know who voices our character in this. I should look that up. I wonder if it's anyone we recognize. Uh, Come on, IMDB, what have you got for me? Ah. No, it's only got the Korean voice actor. Who, apparently this is the first thing she's ever been in. Don't know the English voice actor. Adam seems like a survivor scavenger type. I think so, yeah. And I think he is, he is human. Do you mean, was Adam a human? Because I'm pretty sure he is. I don't know about Taki. I don't, well, I don't know actually. She does, she has a very calming relaxing voice it's weird because the like it's obviously implied that we're not human yeah i was about to say that like it's we're not human but when tacky got her arm cut off as gruesome as it was she did look very human so i don't i don't know actually i feel like we'll probably learn more about that in the full game but yeah for now i don't really know Oh my god, speaking of things getting chopped. <sighs> Has anyone been watching uh, Three Body Problem on Netflix? I know, St uh, Steve, I think you've been watching it. Because, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wonder if, the, if it's the suit. Cut your arm off. Am I human? Am I human? Interesting. I don't know. Are we human? <laughs> or are we dancers? Is it good? It's really good, Gemma, but I've I've reached the episode which I can only describe as like their version of the Red Wedding. <laughs> Where it was just like, oh my god. It's it's very good, Gemma, but yeah, about halfway through. Have you watched up to episode five yet, Steve? Because uh It escalates. See how long it takes to bleed out? Maybe I am human. Boss fight? Oh, boss fight. Yeah, give it a watch, Jeff. It's very good so far. Is that not one of the most ridiculous episodes of TV you've ever seen, though, Steve? In a good way. Like, it was a fantastic episode, but holy shit. I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it. Adam, get back. Uh, boss fight. Oh my god! Oh, I'm, I'm the greatest. That was almost entirely by accident. Good grief. Ow. Whoa! God, those parries are satisfying. Perfect dodge and teleport straight off the bat. I know. Who is he? God, the design of this creature is horrible. But, like, in a good way. Like, it's really cool, but Jesus Christ. He's got lightning! Looks like a very angry vagina monster. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I need to heal. Oh shit. Missed that one. Ooh. Good lord. <laughs> Kenji doesn't know how to feel about the voice acting. About the screaming in particular. God, he's got just as many moves as I have. Shit, I missed that. Ow. <laughs> Get up. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got like stun moves. That's cool. Holy shit. What? <laughs> oh, boy. Have a bit of that. Whoa. <laughs> That's really cool. Ooh. Enjoy yourself, Matt. Enjoy your weekend while I'm doing this! Fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh! <laughs> Was that the end of the demo? We've like transitioned straight into cutscene. I hope that wasn't the end of the demo. I want more! <laughs> Looks cool as fuck. <laughs> oh, there are other characters. Guns. Something serious seems to New costumes. I have to return to Zion. A fucking roller coaster. Oh my goodness! It's full of plants and little birds. Oh, we get like a whole gang. I'm gonna be honest with you, lads. This looks cool as fuck. <laughs> Good grief! I'm just like processing. <laughs> I think I need to play this. I definitely need to play this. Because <laughs> if that's what the rest of the game is like, I'm in. I'm in. I'm so in. <laughs> For reasons. It is April, yeah. It comes out in April. Well, blimey. <laughs> Dude, that's really good. Like, that is genuinely a really, really great game. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. I mean, we're probably going to go for a little bit longer. Um, oh, there we, there we go. We have, uh, we have boss, boss challenges. That's a good show. That was a really good demo. I mean, it, it was basically just the first hour or so of the game. Which is fine for a demo, especially if it, like, carries over to the full game as well. Uh, we're going to try out this boss challenge as well. Yeah, this is exactly why I did this as a stream rather than a video. Because I feel like a video would not have shown all of that. And uh, I'm glad that we did show all of that. Nice demo. Let's see what the uh, the boss challenge is like. What do we think, though? What do we think, team? Uh, this is on PS5 only. Yes, Dan. It is, uh, it's published by Sony Interactive, and it is only on PS5. Goodness me. That's really cool, though. Like, the combat feels good. I feel like it's very, um, 
it does remind me of Nier Automata, and it does remind me of uh, of Liza P a little bit. Um, I feel like you can't you can't like rush through parts. Like even the sort of lesser enemies, you do need to properly concentrate and like be patient and parrying and dodging seems to be way more important than just like attacking over and over again because there's some enemies like the one with the big claw shield that you can't you can't just hit it you have to like wait for an opening so i feel like it deliberately slows you down a little bit while you're exploring which is fine like that's totally fine but i did notice i would say that's very different to Stuff like Elden Ring and Souls where you can kind of burn through like lesser enemies quite quickly and then it's more focused on boss fights. Um, whereas I feel like this one, it kind of treats most enemies like boss fights. Like they all have their own sort of strategy that you need to work around. Not my sort of game, but it looks like it'll deliver. I would agree with that, Katie. Did it have nice haptics? Um, it didn't. It didn't make a massive use of, like, the haptic feedback, Gemma. I didn't really notice much of that, but it's not really the end of the world. Not going to be getting a PS5 anytime soon, unfortunately. Darn it. I mean, to be honest, at this point, Dan, if you ever are planning on getting a PS5, you might as well wait for, like, the pro version, the new one that they're going to release. It's got the makings of a great game, just not sure on the throwbacks to the 90s. This is how we're going to have female characters in video games vibes. I can understand that, and to be honest with you, like, I'm not knocking them in any way, but seeing the the studio that made this game and knowing that they made a game called Nikkei, I am not really surprised that the characters look that way. Because uh, if you just Google Project Nikkei and just look at the characters in that game, <laughs> you will see why I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, N-I-K-K-E, you will understand why I'm not surprised by this. But to be honest, they didn't really find it that distracting. You know? They they did. Kenji, this is actually their first um, console game. Um, because Nikkei is the only other game that they've made. So, I'm very impressed by that, by the way. Because, yeah, this is literally the first, like, big budget console game that they've made. So, GG. That was a really cool demo. It had a ridiculous opening. It's very bloody and gory. Two B's in Nikkei? I did not know that. <laughs> but it looks it looks great, and it pl it plays really nicely as well, actually. I feel like once you get the parrying and the dodging right, and, like, you get the right skills in there, like that blink skill where we can teleport around the characters, I feel like once you get into that, it's really, really nice. The exploration's pretty cool. Like, there's obviously going to be some other areas where we can schmooze them out and find other things. I don't know if there'll be like side missions and stuff, but yeah. Probably is I never end up playing consoles and now Sony's bringing their good exclusives to PC. That's fair, yeah. Gotta wait a while for Spider-Man 2. I'm looking forward to playing Spider-Man 2. Need to do that eventually. Right, we're gonna try the uh, the boss challenge that we have here. See what that's like. Before we finish. This will be like a shorter stream, but Oh, look, we got new clothes. Oh, my God. We got new clothes. <laughs> We're just dressed for a night out now. Got a new haircut. We got some new clothes on. Goodness me. I'm ready for a party. This is this is like club attire. The plaid. Oh, so we have a different boss to fight, I'm guessing. It's hiding. Ooh. Creepy. Only buy consoles when Rockstar games come out. Well, you don't need to wait too long for GTA 5. Uh, 6, rather. Ow. Whoa, get counted, nerd. They completely defy gravity. Yes, they do, Gemma. Again, I'm not really surprised. Oh, that parry is so satisfying. Ah, 
have a bit of that. <laughs> I don't think anybody's complaining. Really. Whoa, the perfect dodge. That's cool. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. He's chainsawing me. Jesus. Ah. Oh. Holy shit, dude. Oh, my God. He's got a flipping chainsaw head. Good grief. I will say the, the monster designs are really cool. Like, they're gruesome because they're all, like, bloody and horrible, but they are very cool. Oh, we do have, like, air attacks as well. I didn't really use those much. But we can, like, do jump attacks as well. <laughs> all that character design and they called it Stalker. It is a bit uninspired, isn't it? Oh. It's so stylish though. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Devil May Cry. Where they just went all out on the style in combat. Yep. Oh. A bit of that. God. Oh, I died. Whoa, dead. 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 <laughs> Goodness me. Uninspired or maybe lazy localization. Um, yeah, I don't really know about like localization of this game. It, it is a Korean company that made it. However, I'm not sure if it was entirely made like in Korean and then translated or whether they did make English names for stuff. Ooh, right, let's try that again. So I think it's going to charge at me. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Or maybe just throw stuff. Oh, now it's going to charge. Ooh, ow! I did still take a hit. I got stuck. Oh, my God. What? Whoa, what do I do with a purple attack? <laughs> you died. You are dead. I wonder if there's anywhere in the uh, in the menu that says what we do with a purple attack. Uh, the, dude, the music's fucking hardcore. Jesus. Ah, oh, so it seems like we have like all of the skills, or s at least more skills than we had. Hang on, do we have a ranged attack? Oh, we do! I've got a gun! Have a bit of that! <laughs> I've got a ruddy gun! Oh my god, he like sliced through the pipe. That's cool. They can do like environment damage as well. Nothing about what the enemy is doing says Stalker to me. It is kind of just more of like a berserker kind of thing. Look at that. So I guess, well, oh, okay. That's, a, that's only got limited ammo, the gun. I guess maybe the ammo recharges after a fight. Oh, dear. I like how the monster is getting, like, visibly frustrated when I block its attack. Like, it, I block its attack and it kind of goes, Rah! <laughs> Like, it's getting pissed off at me. Oh, dear! I did not move enough for that. Ah, I've just noticed we have grenades as well. What does that do? Or does that just... Oh, we just throw that at our feet and it, like, stuns them? Okay. Oh. 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 
Oh my god, I need to heal. Uh, that was very close. <laughs> Holy shit. Hang on a minute, mate. I just need to figure this out. The teleport skill is very handy. Oof. Okay, that jump attack requires a little bit more practice on the old dodge timing. I don't know what we do with a purple, like when they do a purple attack. I got no idea how we dodge that. Or if we dodge that. <laughs> Woo! That's fun though. I wonder how good the... Because we defeated that other boss on the first attempt. So I wonder like what the sort of reset is on a boss. Like I don't know if it's going to be like a Souls game where you have to like run back to it every time. Or whether it just immediately restarts the fight like this one is. Because this is just like a, a one-off kind of fight. I don't know if there's going to be a little bit of traveling involved. It's like one of my most... The things that I hate the most about the Souls games. When, sometimes when you like beat a boss, you have to walk for miles to get back to it. Sekiro does that a little bit sometimes as well. Oh, that... Right, what do we... I feel like the one thing it hasn't explained is how you defend against a purple attack. Like, the blue attack we teleport, the yellow one we dodge. What do we do with a purple one? Hey, yep. Ha! This is definitely harder than the other boss that we fought, like, in the actual demo, though. Or sometimes you have to walk a mile, Elden Boss. Yep, when you just have to walk up those stairs for like 10 minutes. Yeah, the purple attack, I got no idea. I don't know if we parry that or, or what. Oh, oh I missed that. Oh, no, I didn't. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm really glad it gave me another crack at that. Oh, the little delay on that. Get out of here. I really like how it, like, damages... Oh, God, I can't see. It damages the environment around it. Like, the way that it's breaking all these pipes as it, as it runs. Kind of reminds me of some of the Necromorphs from Dead Space, actually. Oh, Flip. We have a backflip. What? Have a bit of this. Or just walk away before I can attack you. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Yep. Oh, bloody hell. Alright. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I love these, like, finishing moves that you get as well. Now, beat. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh. I was just about to heal, and then it was just like, yo, you should teleport. Like, it's too late now! <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm going to have to get this game when it comes out. It's really good. <laughs> Damn it, Zion! You fool! It's fine. It's fine, KP, because if I die, you get more content. <laughs> Away! If I die, it means I get to play it for longer. What a shame. <laughs> it's like it has Souls-like elements that aren't too stressful. I would say it's definitely less stressful than a Souls game so far. For sure. It's also just bloody fun. Oh my god, that was flawless. A bit of that. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't even get the chance to teleport that one. Ah, he's grinding me. She needs to dodge back for purple attacks. Ah, okay. Ow. I was wondering, because they didn't explain the purple attacks during the, uh, the other demo part. Oh my god, chainsaw! That's such a cool design for an enemy. Got a bloody chainsaw head. Whoa. This just looks like a fun game. I'm in. I, dude, I'm totally in. I would happily play the rest of this. It's really, really good so far. It plays really smoothly as well. Also, those like finishes. Woo! I was trying to find out about the monster name, but I can't find it. But I did see how to dodge each color. Well, now we know. Thank you, Gemma. Now we know if we see purple, uh, run away. Tip brother, shit. Oh, missed it. That's bad. I'm nearly dead. Heal, 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 heal. Goodness me. Uh oh. I'll be an uppercut, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Oh, you weren't done. Oh. I was so close for that time. Uh. I'm really liking the music as well. I have a feeling that a lot of the music is probably going to be copyrighted, but... Actually, we have like a lot of... Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. I like went into that um, health menu right as he threw a rock at my head. Like, damn, dude. I was just trying to heal. Give it a rest. Oh my god, we got like so many attacks in one go! I'm gonna get you this time, you bastard! Whoa! Have it! Oh, quick time event! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! I really wonder how long just these like. How long do you think these just like finisher animations took? Holy shit! That's awesome. Have a bit of that. Oh, look at all the loot we get. Oh, nice. Right, well, I guess that's, uh... That's that. The screaming becomes a bit annoying after listening for a while. Valid. Valid. Very satisfying, though. That's really cool. That is a damn good game. I'm, uh... I'm very interested to see what the rest of it looks like when it comes out because that's that demo has piqued my interest I must say I really really like that that's very well made that's very well made what do we think team should we play the whole game when it comes out because I think I'm going to <laughs> whether it's a stream or not I'm going to be playing the rest of it when it comes out because that's really good so far When I saw people comparing it to Liza P, I was, like, a little concerned about the difficulty level. Like, I was a bit worried it was just going to be a straight-up, like, Souls game. Uh, but it really isn't. I feel like that was quite accessible, to be honest with you. Definitely wasn't as hard as stuff like Sekiro or Elden Ring. It just has, like, similar mechanics, like with the camp where you rest and, like, enemies respawn. Um... And then, like, all the... There was, like, the short... Because I think Ron mentioned it earlier about, like, um, opening shortcuts. Like, you can sort of loop back around and open a door, which means you don't have to take the long route next time you go in that particular direction. Gemma votes yes. KP votes yes. I'm into it, dude. I, I really like it. I mean, there's butts. <laughs> there's butts, but underneath the butts, there are legs. But underneath the legs... There's a really good game in there. <laughs> like, there is genuinely very satisfying gameplay. Very solid gameplay. It's smooth. It runs really nicely. Um, 
I think I'd probably be a bit more concerned about it if it was on PC with like the way it runs, but because it's just PS5, it just it just works. <laughs> I've been a yes since the opening intro. The intro was nuts. Like any game that starts with like spaceships exploding and people flying down to Earth. I'm in. I'm on board. Um, no, that's really cool. So yeah, I'll, I mean, when it comes out, which is the end of next month, probably won't play it straight away, like on release, because we've got a few other things to work through, but, or I don't know, do we? <laughs> do we have other things to work through, or can we just go straight into Stellar Blade, because maybe we should. Um, no, it's great though, like, it's, it's really fun. Maybe this can be like our YouTube game after I finish Sekiro. That would make sense, right? I mean, it's not the same kind of game, but it's a, it's a similar sort of game that we could uh, we could go into after Sekiro. But that's really cool so far. It's really cool so far. That's a, It's a good demo as well. Like, it doesn't spoil a load of the game. It's basically just the first hour, hour and a half of the game. So it doesn't just... It, the thing that bothers me about some demos is... Sometimes a demo just drops you, like, into the middle of the game, and it's just like, uh, figure it out. I kind of much prefer it when a demo is just like, here is the first hour, and your save data will carry over. Because I feel like that draws me into a game way more than other options. Like, the, the kind of demo that literally just gives you, like, a random level in the middle of the game. Final Fantasy XV kind of did, like, like that. Like, there was a demo for Final Fantasy XV, and it was just like... Here's the middle of the game, which to be honest, they did actually rectify with Final Fantasy 16 because the demo for Final Fantasy 16 is literally just like this. It's just the first hour of the game, which works way better because at least you get some context that way. Whereas sometimes it's just like you're halfway through act two. How does it feel <laughs> like I don't know? I don't know what act one was like. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is nice. It's much nicer having a demo that's just the beginning of the game. Uh, but yeah, there we have Stellar Blade. That's really cool. I think I'll definitely play that when it comes out, because I really enjoyed that. That was a good demo with a lot of good gameplay in. And it's so satisfying. Like, all the parrying and stuff. The parrying feels really nice. The dodging... I feel like the dodging could be a bit more lenient. Like, I, I feel like the dodge window is minute. <laughs> um, and it's much easier to parry enemies, but then obviously you do have to dodge at some point. Which is understandable. But I feel like that's the, that's the only part I was really struggling with, was trying to figure out when to dodge and when to parry. But, yeah. Other than that, I would say that's really nice. The graphics, gorgeous. The scale of it, ridiculous. Because it literally starts with spaceships blowing up. Uh, the environments definitely give me a lot of, like, near Automata vibes. Like, just these ruined cities with, like, plants overgrowing it and buildings crumbling. I would be interested to see a bit more of the story. Because I feel like we didn't really learn much other than... Eve is potentially an android. We never actually got any confirmation on that. She might be human with just, like, the exospine thing that they were talking about. That enhances her, but... Uh, I don't know. I I feel like everyone is humans. Like, I, I feel like we are a human. We just obviously have superhuman kind of abilities. Do we want to know? I mean, honestly, Gemma, if it's just free information on the internet, go ahead. <laughs> like, there might have just been some context that we missed, but... It does It's not... I don't think it really has a massive bearing on the story, to be honest. Whether we're human or android, but... I don't know. I'm leaning towards android, because Eve seems to be absolutely clueless about just very normal things on Earth. Like rain. She didn't know what rain was. <gasps> are we are we just clones? Are we just clone babies? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But I did find it quite odd that she didn't know anything about... Yeah. She did refer to the humans. That is true. I'm guessing we're just... Oh, she's both. I have a feeling this is kind of like some... Clone... Cyborg situation. I'm guessing that's that's what it is. Because I feel like if she was just a human, she would know about all these things. 
They're just normal men. They're just innocent men. <laughs> so I'm leaning towards like clone human with android parts, I'm guessing. But yeah. Right. Uh, that is a bit of a shorter stream than usual, but you know, we've we've done everything just about. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed it because that was really fun. Android cheeks. Maybe we do have Android cheeks. Maybe that's why they jiggle so much. I don't know. That was cool, though. I really enjoyed that. Um, so that demo is available on PS5. It's just like in the PS5 store if you want to play it yourself. Um, that was great. Big fan. Big fan, and I will definitely be playing the full game when it comes out. Man, games are expensive. <laughs> what was it? It was like 70 quid or something, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. Games do be expensive. They do. Um, but that is that. A nice just... That was a very just relaxing stream. We just got like a solid two hours of just a nice afternoon Saturday stream. Um, so yeah, what else we got today? So uh, there'll be a Hitman video up on YouTube in an hour. That's going to go up in one hour. And that is the Hitman stream from Monday. But it's just like the first half an hour of it. Where we did the Ouroboros contract. The one with Sean Bean. So I've cut that down into just that chunk. And that's going to go up on YouTube. It's about 35 minutes long or so. Um, and that is all three levels of that contract that we did on Monday. Just in case anyone missed it. Like Gemma. Gemma missed it. There you go. Um, so that is all three levels slash methods. Um, because we did assassinate him in three different ways as well. There was a perfect run. The first run of it was actually a silent assassin as well. Which blows my mind. Because you fail silent assassin if anyone finds the body of the target. I just left the body in the middle of a room. And somehow no one turned around and noticed. So, did get away with Silent Assassin on that one, <laughs> which was excellent. Uh, but yeah, that'll be up in an hour. There's another part of Baldur's Gate just went up. It's the one where uh, Gabby has a bit of a, a saucy run-in with Minthara. And then, God, I've got, I've got so much Baldur's Gate to edit. I've got... I've got potentially five parts of Baldur's Gate still to edit. Um... Because I've got the second half of last week's stream. And then the two streams from this week as well. Which I don't know how long they're going to be. They're, they were a bit shorter streams. But I've just got a lot. Of, you know what? I'm just not going to promise anything with Baldur's Gate on YouTube. Because it takes so long to edit those videos. I just don't know when they'll be up. But if you have missed any Baldur's Gate. You can at least start catching up. And it's, it's reasonably up to date. It's within a week at least. But there's plenty of that to go around. Um, so yeah, that's everything. So I'm going to head off. I'm going to go uh, and record some more Spider-Man actually. I'm getting well ahead of Spider-Man. Like I want to get the whole first game uploaded before I play Spider-Man 2. And I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I've nearly finished it. So I'm zooming through it. So there'll be some Spider-Man content on YouTube in the, the coming weeks as well as as well as well Baldur's Gate and as well as Hitman. And uh, there's going to be the GTA 5 like chaos highlights going up on YouTube soon as well. So there's going to be bloody tons for you to watch is basically what I'm saying. Just avoiding Spider-Man 2 content as much as possible until it comes out on PC. That's fair, Dan. That's fair. I will be streaming it in the future, but I know it's not a... I know it's not a very long game, Spider-Man 2, and I'm probably just going to be sticking to, like, the main story. So I'll probably, like, be through it within a couple of weeks, to be honest. Because apparently it's really not that long. So if you are avoiding spoilers, uh, I will not be streaming it for that, for that long. So <laughs> it'll be an easy avoidance for you. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. So hopefully you've enjoyed a look at Stellar Blade, and it might have convinced you to try the demo yourself or even play the full game for yourself 30 hours ish i think that's if you do like side missions and stuff as well though right steve i think just the main story i've heard is only about 15 hours or so so yeah i don't know i don't know how i don't know like what my sort of run through for spider-man 2 is going to be whether i do like a lot of side stuff or or not but 
it will be a future stream. But yeah, that's everything from me. So, have a lovely rest of your weekend. Especially those of you in the UK, because you've got a long weekend. And, um... Don't forget to put your clocks forward. Oh, that's something important. Uh, those of you in the US, streams will be back to their sort of usual times uh, next week because our clocks are going forward. So we're going to like catch up with you. So Pacific time, you're going to go back to eight hours behind instead of seven. Yeah. We are going back to the future again. We are. It is tonight. Yeah. So, starting from next week, our streams will, uh, stream time will be back to, like, normal. Am I going to have to skip Spider-Man streams? I mean, I, I'm totally fine with that. I don't want to, like, spoil games for anyone. Like, I always say that. If I'm playing a game you don't want spoilers, just don't watch. Not going to bother me. Um, but, yeah. Like I said, with Spider-Man 2, we're probably going to burn through it quite quickly. So, I'm not going to be streaming it for ages and ages, which is all right. Michael Z. Real. That's me. Less time in bed. D Gemma, the way I'm solving it is I'm just going to turn off my alarm tomorrow and just... <laughs> or maybe just set my alarm to an hour later. I'm, I'm not losing sleep time. You're not taking sleep time away from me. <laughs> you can't do this to me. Oh, dear. Problem is I don't want to skip watching you play Spider-Man. Damn it. <laughs> well, it is entirely down to you, Dan, whether you want to skip it or not. Like I said, I don't want to, like, spoil games for people because that sucks, but... If you want to watch, you go ahead and watch. If you don't, no worries, dude. I'm going to be streaming other stuff as well. Like, it's not just going to be Spider-Man wall-to-wall. Because uh, we're going to be still playing Baldur's Gate and, like, some other stuff as well. I really want to stream some more F1 soon. So, we'll figure that and squeeze that into the schedule at some point. I've missed my Zoom Zooms. And I need to get back in the groove for when F1 24 comes out. Because that's only, like, two months away. So... We do need to play some more Zoom Zooms very soon. Right, enough waffling. I'm going to head off and go grab some food and then play a bit of Spider-Man. Yes, thank you, KP, for doing the links. As always, the socials, Kofi, Throne, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Instagram, whatever, etc. Go follow all of those. Uh, Discord, I think most of you are in the Discord, but if not, feel free to hop in. And that is everything. Waffling, Kenji. So much waffling. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, if you play the Stellar Blade demo, let me know what you think of it. Because I'd be quite interested to see how everyone else enjoys it. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I'll catch you on Monday for... Uh, uh, something. <laughs> I actually have no idea what I'm streaming on Monday. I've not made any decision in any way, so... Yeah, whatever. Yes, and enjoy Easter as well if you're celebrating. Eat all the chocolate for me. Bye!